Marhaban bikum, brothers and sisters. We are ready for our Quranic vo vocabulary for today. As you are aware, our Quranic vocabulary, seven days per session, which gives us one word per day, inshallah. The first word for today is the word Ali or Allah. Ali or Allah. It means family or blood relationship. Ali or Allah. And this word, my beloved brothers and sisters, occurred in the glorious Quran 26 times. And we would like to look at a reference from chapter 3, verse 33, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله اصطفى آدم ونوحا وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران على العالمين Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran over the world. So you have seen in this ayah, my beloved brothers and sisters, the word Allah mentioning twice in this particular ayah. So it means family and it also means blood relationship. The next word is the word awwal, awwal or al-awwaleen. Awwal means the first, awwal, first or Forma and al awwalin is the plural awwalun and awwalin. The word awwal singular, awwalin plural. Awwal has been mentioned in the Quran 23 times, whereas al awwalin has been mentioned 32 times. So we would like to look at two references for these two words. First reference for the word in the singular form, awwal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Inna awwala baytin Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was that at Bakka, that is Makkah, blessed and a guidance to all of the worlds. So you have seen in this ayah the word awwal. It means first or former. The first word, the first house of worship is the one in Makkah. All right. Bakka was one of the names of Makkah, an old name. Now it is called Makkah. And the next reference we would like to look at is that first reference is from chapter 3, verse 96. And the next reference we would look to we would like to look at is from chapter fifty six and it is verse forty nine and we're looking at the word al awwalin all right the plural Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says Qul in al awwalin wal akhirin la majmu'una ila miqati yawmin ma'lum say O Muhammad indeed the former and the latter people are to be gathered together of a known day. Okay? So, you have the singular and you have the plural. The next word for today is the word Ula'ika. Ula'ika. Ula'ika means those. And it is mentioned 204 times in the glorious Quran. And the example we would like to look at at the very beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, that is chapter 2 verse 5, he says, أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَىٰ هُدًا مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Those are upon the right guidance from their Lord and it is those who are successful. So you have seen in this ayah, the word ula'ika mentioned twice in this one ayah. Okay, the next word for today's vocabulary is the word ayah. 
aya and the plural is ayat aya ayat aya has been mentioned 79 times in the glorious quran whereas the word ayat has been mentioned 148 times by itself ayat 148 but sometimes you would see some additional uh, pronouns like ayatina or ayatihi or ayati and when you add up all of those the 148 and you add all of these you'll get an next 143 adding the two together you will have 291 times so in the plural form the word ayat was mentioned 291 times whereas in the singular form it was mentioned 79 times let us look at an example of the word ayah and we want to look at chapter 2 verse 211 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says Salbani Isra'ila kam atayna hum min ayatim bayyina ask the children of Israel how many signs we have given them Allah gave Prophet Musa and also those people to whom he was sent many many signs so that they would believe in P Prophet Musa and his message believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yet many of them they did not believe and the reference that we would like to look at for the usage of the word ayat the plural form we want to look at chapter 2 verse 99 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَلَقَدْ أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ آيَاتٍ بَيِّنَاتٍ وَمَا يَكْفُرُ بِهَا إِلَّا الْفَاسِقُونَ And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. The next word is the word Ayyuha, Ayyuha, and Ayyuha means O oh, you. It occurred in the glorious Quran 150 times. 150 times the word Ya Ayyuha occurred in the glorious Quran. And the reference we would like to look at is from chapter 84, verse 6, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says, يَا أَيُّهَا الْإِنسَانُ إِنَّكَ كَادِحٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ كَدَحًا فَمُلَاقِيهِ It basically means, O mankind, you are laboring or toiling towards your Lord with great exhaustion and you will meet Him. You would meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or it can also be interpreted and you will meet Him. It, meaning that which you are toiling for, you would also you would meet it. So the mulaqihi, the he could refer to Allah subhanahu wa taala, or it could also refer to it, meaning that which you are toiling for. The next word is the word bahar, bahar, and bahar means sea, and it occurred in the glorious Quran thirty three times, thirty three times the word. Bahr mentioned in the singular form of course and the reference we want to look at is from chapter 7 verse 138 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَجَاوَزْنَا بِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْبَحْرِ and we took the children of Israel across the sea and the last word for today is the word بَعْدَ بَعْدَ Ba'da means after, after. It occurred in the glorious Quran 148 times, 148 times. And other times you would see the word Ba'da, there are some addi additional pronouns coming after like Ba'dahu or Ba'dahum or Ba'daha. And if you were to add all of these, it will come bring us to a total of 192 times. So by itself is 148, and then you add the other, the other different ways it occurred, 
another 44 times and it will bring us bring it to 192 times and one of the reference we would like to look at is from Surah Al-Bayyina which is chapter 98 and it is verse 4 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ And those who were given the, strip, the scripture did not become divided until after there had come to them clear evidence. You know, one would feel that, you know, people will be on the wrong path if they do not have evidence and so on. But these people, people of the book, they divided among themselves after the clear signs came to them. All right. So these are the words for today. I hope inshallah that you will memorize them. Seven words and you have two words with the singular and the plural. Okay. So inshallah next week we would look at some other words and inshallah we'll try to do a quick revision of some of the words that we have done uh, previously. So until then take care. What's